Welcome to the third section of this volume, Mac OS. This section will cover everything you need to know to generate proper packages on Mac OS. We will start by covering DMG archives, the standard application distribution method. Then we will cover PKG installers, which are alternatives to DMGs for applications that need more complex installation procedures. Afterwards, we will see how to get an Apple developer subscription to generate code signing certificates, and we will see how to make use of them on Electron Builder. Then we will cover how to generate Mac App Store packages that you can then submit to Apple for review and inclusion on the store. And finally, we will see how to configure macOS builds on Travis CI so you can perform automated deployments with ease. Welcome to the first video of section number three, building DMG archives. In this video, we will see how to generate DMG archives for Electron applications and how we can tweak some of the options Electron Builder provides us for this task. DMG archives are the standard way of distributing Mac applications. DMGs are compressed archives, somewhat like zip, that feature a very high compression ratio. In case you're not a Mac user, DMGs work as follows. The user downloads a DMG file from your website and double clicks it. A small window like the one you see in this slide will pop up, which usually includes two items, the application in .app format and a symbolic link to a slash applications, the default place for installing Mac apps. The only thing the user needs to do is to drag the .app file to a slash applications, and that's it. As you can see in the screenshot, it's really mandatory that you create a very nice background for your DMG, which can be anything you like. Like we did with our dev and RPM packages, we need to declare a category for our application. This is used when you explore the contents of the slash application directory directly, for example, as you can see in the screenshot. All Mac categories start with public.app-category and then the name of the category, which can be any of the strings you can see in this slide. So to recap, you don't put just productivity, for example, but public.app-category.productivity. Let's see how DMG's backgrounds work. As we said before, most DMG's contain two files, the application itself, and a symbolic link to a slash applications. The size of the background can be anything you like. You can also customize the icon sizes and positions to your taste, so you have a lot of room to be creative here. Keep in mind that a lot of Mac users have high DPI screens, so I'll show you how to make sure your DMG looks good in all types of screens. The background of a DMG should be a TIFF file, which we will see how to generate in the next example. So DMG's background images need to be in TIFF format. This format is very convenient for this use case, given it supports the concept of subfiles, which allows us to embed multiple versions of an image, each targeting a different screen resolution in just one file. Here is how I usually do it. First, I create the PNG background of my DMG using the size I want. Then I re-export that same design in twice the resolution, which will be used for high DPI screens. Then we can use a tool that comes with macOS itself to join multiple PNGs into a single TIFF file. Let's do that now. We can type TIFF util hyphen cat high DPI check, then the list of the PNG images, and then hyphen out and the output location in TIFF format. And then we will get a TIFF file ready to use with Electron Builder. Let's take a look at the Electron Builder options we can use to generate DMG archives. Here's my package.json file. Like before, we set a couple of basic Electron Builder options that apply for all operating systems, the app ID 
and the product name. We will also create an object called Mac, which will hold every property that affects all Mac targets, including the MG. In this object, we will set the targets that we want to generate for this operating system, which for this video will be just DMG. Notice we were also setting identity to null to manually disable code signing, a topic we will be covering in a following video. We will set the path to our application icon in ICNS format, which virtually all image editors are able to create. Finally, we will set an application category. As we've seen before, all Mac categories start with public.app category. In this case, let's put our app inside the utilities category. Now that we have all the basic Mac options set, let's discuss the DMG specific options. The first thing we're going to do is add the DMG background. This should be in TIFF format as we've discussed before. I generated the background inside the assets directory, so I will put that file path here. We will also set an icon property that determines the icon of the DMG archive, which could be equal to the application icon, but it could be different as well. For example, some apps create an icon that represents an archive, including the app icon inside. In this case, we're going to reuse the same application icon for simplicity purposes. The icon size property takes a number that represents the pixels that each icon inside the DMG will occupy. This can be anything you like and will probably depend on the design of the background. In this case, I found that 100 pixels matches my design very nicely. The window property allows us to determine the size of the DMG window. My background size was 544 per 408 pixels, so let's put that here. Now comes the fun part. The contents array allows us to specify the icons that will be included in our DMG and their respective positions. Now you'll have to experiment a lot here. I've been playing around with the positions for quite some time until I got them right. So don't worry if you don't get it exactly as you want the first time around. This array accepts objects with X and Y properties and some other optional ones. Now, if you pass an object with only X and Y properties, then that object determines the position of the application icon. Since virtually all DMGs contain a symbolic link to slash applications, we'll also pass another object containing X and Y properties, but this time we'll also set a type equal link property and a path property that points to slash applications. Again, I did a lot of experimentation to come up with these particular coordinates values. By now, we have everything we need to generate our DMG. So let's give it a go by running npm run dist. As before, Electron Builder will generate our DMG inside the dist directory. So let's go there and open it. And that's it. But look how great that DMG looks like. I suck at graphic design, so probably yours will be even better. In this video, we saw what DMG archives are and what files they usually contain. We've seen all the available application categories we can set for our Mac apps and how to properly set DMG backgrounds.